Well, my idea is a little maybe too spiritual or something. I used to think that all of us who would be elected to parliament and who would be given responsibilities, if we put our hands on, on the scripture of our respective religions, like for example, I'm a Christian, putting my hand on the Bible at the time of uh, uh, taking oath of allegiance to the Constitution of India, if we are required also to take oath saying that I and my family will not indulge in any corrupt practice, we will fight against corruption, and I promise this in the name of God, who should take action against me if I am corrupt or I am found to be corrupt or if my relatives are found to be corrupt. I have that desire uh, to do that and I am willing to do that. So if all of us who consider ourselves to be worthy of taking up public issues as their representatives, etc., etc., if we do this kind of uh, open uh, taking of uh, out uh, in, in front of the TV camera, in front of God, I think things will improve. We need to go to this extent, though I may sound to be too extreme, but I mean it. I mean business. So, how many politicians are willing to do this? I am willing, for example. Any other uh, takers of this suggestion? I wish they are. So if we commit ourselves morally, spiritually, ethically to doing what is right only, not doing what is wrong, I think we have a future. If we are not willing to go to this extent, this, country, this country's future is very bleak and I'm afraid. We'll continue to fool the people, we'll continue to frustrate them, at the same time frustrating ourselves, those of us who are small in number, right-thinking people. So in matters related to corruption, I have been saying that if the situation is like a muddy ocean, and as an individual, if even if I have to drop in the muddy ocean as a single drop of clear water, hoping that the point where I would be landing in the muddy ocean would be slightly diluted for a fraction of a second, I'll still drop into that muddy ocean and see what is my effect. That's what I am today. I'm talking like this, challenging corruption and corrupt people, willing to take them frontal, but having no opportunity to do that, having no opportunity to swear on, on the constitution of India, on the, on the scripture that, uh, that had taught me to live the right life, to hate corruption, and, and to, to know what is temporal and what is uh, theological or what is divine, then I, I don't see how far I can go. Moral policing, self-appointed uh, moral police, these are all uh, ridiculous. As if they're trying to pull us back to the past century. Uh, let, let bad thought not be there in their mind. Let bad thought not be there in the mind or minds of uh, people who, who are heading towards uh, the uh, what, what should I say, proper utilization of the 21st century. If we start looking back and try to do a kind of uh, moral policing on our own without any authority, 
I think it's creating more of confusion. And Would you say that an unemployment is, I mean, especially in the current uh, situation, yeah could be leading to a lot of this kind of unrest and how would you address it? Well, un really unemployment is a very big issue and I feel the government had not taken it uh, seriously enough. Um, so I do have my uh, ideas on improving this un unemployment situation. First of all, as I said in the beginning, standard of education needs a lot of improvement because today our university products are not having export quality kind of uh, level uh, efficiency in their uh, productivity, in their uh, understanding of uh, various issues. So we have to, first of all, improve the quality of our education. Number two is uh, jobs can be created uh, in private uh, companies or in corporates or even in government um, wherein uh, meaningful focus can be uh, targeted for every individual to be productive and to be concerned and fully involved in the, in the job. Recently I went to USA. I was lucky to have been invited uh, to attend Obama's uh, breakfast on 5th of uh, February. Now, that time, I read in American uh, Daily that America is looking for uh, willing uh, young people from all over the world to, to be enlisted in the defense forces. And for that, the news item announced that those boys and girls who would like to go to America on student visa uh, and who are fit to be enlisted in defense forces will be most welcome and subsequent to their employment there they'll be entitled to to be issued a green card and also if they would be willing to stay permanently in the USA uh, they will be helped. Uh, so this kind of information I have shared with uh, some people here and there particularly in the Northeast uh, our uh, youth are so eager to go and they have contacted me and uh, asked ask me as to what they could do. I'm in touch with the American consulate these days to find out uh, how this opportunity could be utilized by our people, our young people from India. And you know, this kind of thing, looking for uh, openings, looking for opportunities abroad also, is uh, important. Now we have uh, so many nurses and, and uh, technicians or uh, even engineers and doctors working in foreign countries today, but they have gone there mostly on their own effort. But the government had not taken up all these issues so as to make op employment opportunities available to our youths in this country. Um, I feel that we have to blame the government in the present situation also.